scuba diving in the local river here and I came across a safe. Let's go find some river treasure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here out doing another river hunting adventure. Um, today I'm underneath this old bridge out in South Carolina and I gotta tell you guys, it is freezing. It is about at my limit, probably a little bit more. So I don't expect I'm gonna stay long, but I'm still gonna get out here a little bit and see what I can find that's underneath this bridge. So hopefully I can recover some cool items and uh, let's go out in the water and see what I can get. Oh yeah. Check it out on oh, a gun. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shaking. It is cold, but I'm shaking because I found a gun too. That is insane. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was hard to get out. Hey guys, I just got out of the water and I'm freaking out guys. Not only did I find this safe, um, but I found this revolver. That is so cool. I cannot believe I found that. It was just sitting on the bottom. That is unreal. I don't see any serial numbers right off the bat. But uh, we'll give the police a call and see what they want to do with it. That is crazy. And the safe I found right underneath the main beam over there in the middle. And uh, that is so cool. I don't see anything in there. I might have to give it a little more search um, here soon. But so right now we're going to go back into my truck and give the police a call. See what they want to do with that gun. And uh, we'll go from there. This is crazy, guys. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, it looks like it was a... Uh... Emptied pretty good, don't you think? <laughs> I don't see any coins or anything in there. And this was another thing I found in there. It kind of looked like a gun at first, but uh, I don't know what that is. Part of an old car or something, maybe? Some type of a bicycle or something? I don't really know. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that thing is. All right, let's get this baby back up to my truck. Oh, she's heavy. Whew. Dang, that thing's heavy. Oh, I didn't even see there was a, a top part. That's nasty. All right guys, I just got back to the truck and I got all my finds right here. And I did pretty good for the short amount of time I had, but I'm a little disappointed and I'll tell you guys why. I jumped the gun literally, but it wasn't a real gun. So this pistol, I thought it was real. It ended up after closer inspection being a pellet gun. You can see it says .177 caliber pellet, single action, pacemaker. Um, and still that's really cool, but I pulled this down and as you can see the CO2 cartridge um, So that's still a really cool find. Unfortunately, it's not a real gun um, But I found some other cool coke bottles a chain this thing I'm not sure what that is, but if you all know let me know in the comments, but I did find a real stolen safe So that is pretty cool. looks like a century um, And there's nothing in there if you guys can see the light but there is a, a lot of gunk. I think I'm still going to give the local police department a call about the safe. See if there's anything they can do. Probably isn't, but just to be on the safe side, let's give them a call real quick. All right, guys. Well, I tried to call the local sheriff's department. And apparently, they're closed today. <laughs> um, it is a holiday weekend, so maybe that's why. But we're going to drive up. I think I saw a fire rescue, or maybe we can find an officer on duty up in town a little bit. So we're going to try to find somebody real quick. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. How's it going? Um... I was trying to call the local police department, but they, they didn't pick up the phone. Okay, what you got? Uh, I, I was just scuba diving in the local river here, and I came across a safe. And I was going to see if y'all wanted to take a look at it or... Um, yeah. I mean, it's right here in the back of my truck. It's, it was emptied out, but I figured I'd just give you guys a call anyways. 
Yeah, if it's empty, there's no point really. Um, I thought this was a real gun, <laughs> but it ended up being like a pellet gun. Yeah. But um. Yeah, no, you're welcome to it or dispose of it or whatever, as long as there's nothing in there that we wouldn't be able to really track it back to anywhere anyway. So, okay. Um, it's an awful dive this time of year. Yeah, it was pretty cold <laughs> today. But it, and honestly, it was it almost seems colder outside than in yeah. the water a little bit. Yeah. But um. No, I appreciate you asking, but now that's... I, I can't see anyone having a need to check that or anything. So. Okay. What? But, uh, yeah, you could you could toss it. I'm pretty comfortable telling you that. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. you asking, though. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. You have a good day. All right, guys. Well, I couldn't get in touch with the police department, so I just drove into town and luckily came across the police officer uh, that pulled in <laughs> the store right here. So I just talked to him, as you heard, and um, so I guess I'll be able to keep the safe. Um, I'll maybe take it home and look in it a little bit more, um, but that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the gun wasn't real, but I'm still glad I was could clean it out of the river, and uh, it's a cool uh, piece, cool wall hanger there. So hope you guys enjoyed the adventure today. I know I did. It was a really cold one. <laughs> definitely freezing today so um i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna have to come back to this bridge in the future but, but thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed coming along with me make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell too uh leave a like leave a comment you know all that fun good stuff so stay tuned guys i got a bunch more adventures planned exciting stuff planned um so make sure to stay tuned whenever i post videos i'll see y'all in the next adventure oh yeah